when you thought that politics could not get more involved in your life, this shit happens. Welcome everybody back to my channel. My name is NK and you're currently watching Tea Time. Cheers. Yes, you might be wondering what kind of goodies we have today. Well, uh, normally on this channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, which you should absolutely definitely do, is uh, normally I talk about the upcoming easy releases, some new features, as well as sometimes some product reviews. But not today. Today, actually, you see, guys, we're going to talk about shoe politics. By the little intro that I made in the beginning, you might already have gotten a little bit of a grasp that we're going to talk about politics and shoes. And you probably did not know what exactly I'm talking about. Or maybe you did. Maybe your Twitter has been a little bit blowing up, depending on where you live. But if you live in the United States and you just follow a little bit the sneaker culture or politics, for that mean, uh, you know what has been going on lately. For everybody that kind of is living under a rock or is just still a little bit in the shadow, a little bit behind, you haven't caught up with technology, don't have social media, Twitter, Facebook, something totally alienated to you. <laughs> Let me fill you guys in. Pretty much every year, Nike actually honors the United States and celebrates Independence Day, the 4th of July. You might be familiar with this date. It's the revolutionary date where America became America with bringing out a Nike Air Max 1 with the revolutionary flag on the back, or as many people refer to it, the Betsy Ross flag. Since lately we have been living in a society where literally politics just dictates everybody's life, especially when we look at America, the full situation with Trump where everybody's literally freaking out, everybody's either left or right, it comes as no surprise <laughs> that um, apparently politics and sneakers go hand in hand. <laughs> Who fucking knew that? Through the course of Trump's entire presidency, we have seen the liberals and the Democrats, the media and everybody else trying to ban a shit ton of things. You cannot talk about homosexuality no more. Trends are totally accepted and should be the new normal in our society. I mean, if you're just a hint not tolerant against fat people, gay people, transvestis, uh, or how they call it, the LGBTQ community, I mean, you're, you're a Nazi. You're a goddamn Nazi. Anyways, without getting further into detail, let's talk about actually the connection and what this has to do actually with Nike and the Air Max 1. So, as I mentioned already in the beginning, Nike brings every year out to celebrate America on the 4th of July, a 4th of July kick, let's call it, and that is a very special release of an Air Max 1 with the revolutionary Ross Betsy flag on the back. Now, this is where the problem comes. Now, the Betsy Ross or Ross Betsy flag, depending on if you want to start with the first or last name of the flag maker, is an American flag. It is actually the first American flag. The flag originates from the late 1700s, where America broke free from Great Britain. Thus, a flag, instead of having 50 stars that represent the 50 current states, features a circle of 13 stars that stand for the unity of the 13 colonies that were in place back then. So yes, the first flag or second flag both just represent America. One is newer than the other one. The only difference. Why is this so controversial and why is everybody talking about this? Well, you see what many people are making a claim of is that this revolutionary flag is a racist flag. Yeah, if you don't get that then now, <laughs> welcome on board. As far as I'm concerned, the main image or the main point that people, especially more leaning people from the left, are trying to push is that is a flag that was um, in place when slavery was in place. Um, yeah. If you guys are wondering what I believe and what I think about this, I think this is an absolutely bullshit argument because there are so many things that got invented back in the days. I mean, this flag is from the 1700s, I believe, late 1700s. So many things got invented there, so many things that are around. People in the 1700s were also wearing clothes. Here we are with clothes, are clothes racist? No, they're not. And this is also what's happening. Nike already ordered for all the retailers to ship their shoes back to who they already sent it to. The sneakers you can see right now, for example, on StockX have risen in price. They go for as much as 2000. They're pretty much the new hype sneaker because now everybody especially with this talk with this sort of quote on quote, let's even call it hype that is building around the media. I mean, literally everybody's talking about it. If you don't believe me, Trump Jr. tweeted about these sneakers that if people have a problem with the Betsy Ross flag, if they believe that it's too offensive, then maybe Nike should go with an other sort of flag. And then he attached a picture of the Roshi one with the communist flag and also in the communist colors and said that maybe Nike should run with this one because it represents a little bit more their views. Now, I have to be honest, also Donald Trump Jr., I'm very sure that he did not really mean it, but it goes into the same direction actually as the revolutionary flag. I think both are extremely stupid cases. and. 
this brings me back to the point. I think Nike should run with the 4th of July sneaker. It has been something that has been going on over many, many years. This is a special edition and they always featured something to kind of celebrate the United States, the birthday of the United States. And I find it really a shame that this is not going to happen this year and they are letting in into some liberal bullshit that is right now going on online. Nevertheless, if you have a different opinion or a different thought process, Leave me a comment, tell me what you think, where you may be actually hoping to cop the Nike Air Max one, or do you really not care? And for you, this is pretty much eh, not a biggie. Again, this was my opinion. I know that you guys care about my opinion. That's uh, also why I put this video out. <laughs> Uh, why else? Yeah, that being said, I know this was something a little bit different. Maybe you were expecting something else, but by the title, because I'm sure that I did not put a clickbait title. Well, maybe I, I will. Uh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, thank you again so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys watching my channel. Maybe if you just want, uh, definitely do. Leave me a like, subscribe, share, and uh, advertise. Uh, advertise this video, advertise my channel. And that being said, NK out. Peace.